Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and today we're gonna be playing with a deck that I actually stole from one of the top players of the game who's uh, called Lost Control. He at the time uh, being was a 3.4k uh, metal player and uh, uh, yeah he was playing this very interesting uh, Brute Cemetery deck which uh, I really like and he also has a mana collector so he's gonna actually go for a mana collector himself which I don't think is a bad play but at the same time I can absolutely right now uh, just uh, invalidate his push by going a uh, for my own Brute right here it's still tanking for one skeleton and it's gonna not only force a lot of elixir, mana, whatever you call it, but also deal a lot of damage. So that was a very, very great start for us. Also, we know he is playing a missile, which is, well, which is a missile. So we uh, don't want to play a mana collector behind our tower to get him uh, some kind of a damage value. We just want to play it uh, in between our towers because it's the safest place for a mana collector uh, ever to be in. I'm gonna play a phone horde at the bridge, check if he's still there. Okay, he's still there, he's gonna probably be even playing on, so I'm gonna just play a Brute in the back. It looks like our opponent is Music777 with two metals. He's gonna be just uh, very committed to play to play even more spells on our tower, which is, well, funny to say the least and sad uh, to, uh, to stress it 100% uh, because obviously that's not the best strategy that you can come up with. I'm gonna get my uh, cemetery once the tower locks onto the brute and I think that's officially a uh, game over because I don't think my opponent is uh, stopping this push ever again. Uh, even with spells like missile, I'm gonna just add more things and yeah, he's just gonna give up uh, right after. So my opponent probably was just playing some kind of weird spell cycle deck. Sometimes you just get them. It wasn't the good example to uh, explain how this deck works, so I'm gonna just move to the game number two. So the game number two will be against with fun who is gonna be starting off with a phone kick pretty much signalizing for us that he's gonna be playing a bait deck which I don't think is the worst matchup for this deck considering I have two spells already on hand in case he throws uh, anything wild at me I'm gonna actually just let this connect I'm gonna play a uh, footman kick here, actually one skeleton will be pretty annoying but it doesn't really matter as long as super devil will kill this uh, bomb girl which it wasn't, uh, I mean which it won't, I'm gonna be fine, uh, he's gonna be playing a phone heart against this um, mother devil, it's absolutely the correct play, I'm gonna play a phone heart to minimize the uh, damage uh, incoming, I'm gonna play another mana collector and if I recall correctly, he doesn't have a um, a big spell, so obviously my pumps uh, will get me some value. I'm gonna play a Super Devil right now. Uh, I would love to get actually this uh, Bomb Girl, but if I don't, it's not gonna be like the end of the world. I'm gonna get uh, this Skeleton Keg. Obviously, the weird uh, spawn pattern will uh, come to bite me at the end. I'm gonna actually play bullets here just to kill everything here. And once my Brute crosses, I'm gonna instantly play Cemetery like this. Because it's gonna force him to pretty much defend uh, three different uh, dangerous threats. One of them being a Brute. Obviously, he reacted to that. Second, the Mother Devil, which he kinda did a nice job by playing a bomb girl but the third one was the cemetery and cemetery kinda countered his bomb girl because he didn't have mana for more so yeah that's gonna be a very successful attack right here I'm gonna actually just all in into him in the center just to uh, see whether he's playing or not he appears to be still playing which is like a like a probably would normally say weird because the game is absolutely over and he pretty much knows that so there's not coming back to this game I'm gonna play a uh, super devil here I'm gonna delay my uh, footman cake to get everything here I'm gonna get 
another brute with a phone horde here and at this point my opponent should be giving up because there's just not stopping my uh, aggression and yeah that's gonna be just gg nice play against vitfan who put a good fight but it wasn't just good enough so yeah we're gonna take uh, four medals out of him and jump to the next game and the next opponent we're gonna face is gonna be in Laser Agent, who's gonna start very aggressively with pretty much all the stuff in the world on the board very early on. Oh, fortunately, we had the just perfect hand to stop that. We just get one uh, phone stop, stop, and if I were to co count correctly, he played like 11 mana and I stopped it with 5. So I should be like... Uh, every single mana in the world up. He, I presume he played this mana collector at uh, zero. M maybe he played at 10, but it doesn't really matter as for now, because I'm gonna just go for my flag attack. With this deck, you don't want to wait. You just want to go, go, go once the opportunity arises. He uses three tinies to stop some of the symmetry, but it's not gonna be enough. I'm gonna absolutely take this tower down and I'm gonna even have some leftovers to go for a 3-star, which I don't think he's stopping anytime soon, so yeah, that's gonna be a very quick game. I think uh, since we have some quicker games in this video, I'm gonna compensate you by playing game number 6, so yeah, that's gonna be game number 3. Let's jump to the game number 4. And our next opponent will be Michi Katsu, who is gonna be having a 6 medals, and yeah, he, he already spams a good game very early on in the game, which is, well, weird to say the least. Usually, the first thing that you say to your opponent is good luck, which is nice play in this game, well, can have everything. Uh, I'm gonna play Brute in the back, get my one hit from a Super Devil, and if this uh, is, if this Bomb Girl won't engage my Brute, I think I'm gonna just go and base trade. He's gonna actually play a Longsword, which is a fine move. I'm not a hater so far. He's gonna play a cannon to stop my brute. I'm gonna absolutely sacrifice this tower. Just create some fun. And he's gonna get his Necromancer locked onto my uh, brute, which was the perfect case scenario because right now I can just uh, kill it and get one tower back. And right now my mother devil is very strong because he has already a family of. Uh, for devils. This Dark Knight is gone, so I got uh, the advantage of the attacker in this uh, situation. Usually, when we talk about strategy games, we talk about the advantage of a defender, but in this case, uh, he was the attacker at first, so he was bound to succumb to my pressure eventually. And here we go. He actually plays a Fawn King, and he will have a missile, which is gonna be a very tricky card to play against. I would love to stop this Fawn King, though, which uh, I didn't. That was a definitely mistake uh, by me. Uh, and yeah, right now we are pretty equal since I didn't know that he's gonna have a missile. And th that's, the, that's the weird thing about this deck. You kind of want to attack at all times, but I don't want to go into a bomb girl because I know that once this card uh, gets some value, it's just gonna be uh, soaking you, uh, your uh, mana dry over and over again, so I would rather just bank some mana, even take this shot, that's not a big, too big of a worry, I'm gonna right now uh, dispose of that card even, I'm gonna play a uh, foot one keg to dispose of a necromancer now, and right now I think I'm gonna just go for a cemetery and additional brute just to add to the injury, so he's gonna play another bomb girl, I would say that it shouldn't be enough and absolutely is not. These skeletons are just piling up on the tower and he's just absolutely swarmed from left, right and center. That's gonna be a another good game. Uh, my opponent disagrees with me saying not good. Well, for me it was good. I absolutely enjoyed destroying his uh, Viking tower. And yeah, we're gonna just jump to game number 4 after this sweet victory. And we get another game against uh, a 786 uh, metal player that Presumably has five emotes uh, in his name, which, well, it is allowed, but uh, I don't know uh, what are those emotes since uh, the phone doesn't support them. So my opponent will actually go for a steel hammer early with a uh, with some small support, which is absolutely acceptable. I'm gonna 
completely um, counter that and play a mana collector, which is like a perfect uh, counter to what he was doing. I'm gonna actually right now see if this ghost will okay, actually the ghost will go for a mana collector, so I have to protect it uh, with my life. No, sir, you're not touching that. I was uh, pretty sure that uh, it's gonna actually go for a tower, but since now I know this interaction, I'm gonna absolutely abuse it in my own games because if if someone is playing a mana collector uh, in the middle, uh, you you have to abuse it somehow, some way. Also, he's gonna be playing a general deck, so I would love to get a uh, nice counter against that. Right now, I will have some bridge battle, and he uses bullets, which is absolutely fine by me because I'm gonna just play another mana collector and set up for another scary push. So that was a very cool situation. Uh, all around, if you ask me. Uh, I'm gonna play uh, another Brute in the back and pretty much uh, do the same thing, but this time I will uh, be able to afford a cemetery, so the pushout will be just stronger. I'm gonna play actually a Mar Devil in the back. He's gonna be going with a General on the opposite side, which is absolutely acceptable play. I'm gonna play Super Devil against that though, so he doesn't get... Uh, too much of a freedom, I'm gonna play a cemetery now, and he actually went for a uh, for a devils on the attack. I think in hindsight I should have used uh, bullets uh, on uh, attack as well, since I would have just straight up killed him, but I was kinda afraid of my, uh, of my mana collector uh, being too exposed after him taking the tower down, so I uh, just uh, decided to not go for it. In hindsight, that probably was a mistake. Right now, I definitely have to get aggressive because uh, I have cards like Mother Devil in my push, which pretty much gets stronger uh, with every second they survive. So I have to just keep her alive. That was very cool uh, attack right here. It wasn't all in though, because right now I'm gonna be all inning with my brute uh, on the same lane as his uh, general. This steel hammer will get one hit. That's that, that's not. Too bad. We're gonna play a uh, bullets very early on, so I can get another bullets uh, for the other push. And uh, I'm gonna actually go for another push right here. I'm gonna play uh, footman keg just to cycle to a bullets. And right now I have a very scary pushes on uh, left uh, hand side and right hand side. And I don't think he stops uh, either of these because I'm getting some brute damage, some. Uh, Devil damage, and yeah, that's gonna be GG's. I even had 10 mana in the bank uh, before the end of the game. That was just a very dominant win. I don't think he had a counter. Unfortunately, this deck is very hard to counter because uh, you have to be pretty much uh, prepared for everything, especially after you play this first push in the single mana time with a uh, Brute, Mother Devil, and a... Uh, and the symmetry, your opponent will be just paranoid of what will you just play. And uh, he probably anticipated me going uh, all in into one lane. I split the damage between two lanes and it was just too tricky for him to defend. So yeah, that's gonna be the game number five. But I promise the game number six and I will deliver. Let's jump right into it. And we actually are getting a rematch against this guy. Sorry for the notification right here, but it sometimes happens. I'm gonna actually go with a Brute against his general. Just trying to make some a skill check. Uh, I don't have actually the best hand against his uh, general because yeah, he can just play Steel Hammer and that's gonna be very problematic for me. I'm gonna actually go for a Footman Keg very exposed here, just trying to get rid of his general because once it gets uh, taken out, I'm gonna be having the only push on the board and he's gonna absolutely obliterate it. I didn't expect anything from this push, I was just playing this Brute defensively and my opponent already quit the game, which is uh, concerning. Maybe he just uh, received uh, the enough beating in the last game that he doesn't want to play this game anymore. I wouldn't blame him, but it's still fun to see that uh, actually this deck makes people rage quit. So it's gonna be pretty much another uh, fun caption that I can put in thumbnail like 
The deck that I stopped from pro player makes people rage quit and it wouldn't even be a lie because it's very annoying to play against if you don't know how to play against it and it's not a uh, it's not every day that you see pretty much four annoying cards uh, that you have to have specific counters uh, in one deck against uh, that you have to like deal with uh, every single threat like you have you have obviously Brute, which is a classic win condition, and then you have three annoying cards, which is a Mana Collector, which gives you infinite elixir, mana, whatever. I want to like uh, change these uh, uh, these words between each other because otherwise my speech will get too stale. Mother Devil, which spawns infinite uh, devils, which you have to react to spending mana or uh, kill the Mother Devil, which uh, there's no like positive mana trade to do and. After all of this, you still have to deal with Cemetery, which is uh, just the most annoying win condition in the game, uh, period. So yeah, that's gonna be it from me in today's video. Hope you guys enjoy this very annoying, cheesy, toxic, however you want to call the deck that I stole from a Boom Arena Pro. And yeah, if you enjoyed this type of content, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because you don't want to miss my next uploads. And yeah. Uh, thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Marina.